Welcome back. Uh, this is part one on my series of uh, propeller balancing on airplanes and helicopters. I've been balancing propellers and stuff, actually a lot of different things, not just airplane stuff, for like 40 years. I started off with a uh, Chadwick 177 years ago. I don't have one anymore. It was kind of primitive, but Chadwick was one of the uh, forerunners. And then I moved up to a 192A, which was pretty high tech. It would do turbine engines and all kinds of stuff. So I'll just show you some of the equipment. So this is, uh, this is the strobe you use when you're tracking, and ba tracking uh, blades on helicopters. You used to have to use this on everything. You used to have to stop the blade to uh, know the azimuth on everything. Nowadays we're using uh, photocells and magnetic sensors. I'll show you these here. So we've got a magnetic pickup, a hall sensor that would be used on the helicopter and you can use it on just about anything. And uh, that's a vibration sensor. I've got one mounted up on here and that's the photocell over here. I have it mounted on. I've got a simulator here, but I'll show you this. This is what we used to use. When you took a course on helicopter maintenance, they used to use this thing here. It was called a whirly gig. And you'd, you could turn that on and you'd have your strobe hooked up and your, uh, you'd put vibration sensors on it and uh, magnetic sensors. You could do, do uh, helicopters that had, uh, that they were with articulating blades. This thing here used to, for practice, and four-bladed helicopters and three-bladed helicopters for tracking. You'd do it for practice. Anyway, it, uh, it doesn't work very well on the, uh, on the newer Honeywell, so I built my own, and it makes it a little easier because it actually looks more like an airplane. Uh, this unit here is a, uh, a calibrator, the uh, Model 11. Uh, back in the day, you used to have to, everything used to be, uh, you had to have it calibrated every year. So I didn't like sending things away to have it calibrated, so I bought this thing. And it's calibrated using a uh, fluorescent light. You'd look at these targets in here, and that, you'd adjust the speed so they were stopped, and you'd screw your sensors in here, and uh, they would read the uh, correct... You could test your sensors and everything and the strobe to make sure everything was working 100% which would satisfy the calibration. Anyway, the newer ones don't need calibrating because uh, it's all electronic. So I built a, uh, a test rig because I, I don't do enough of it anymore. I forget how to do it. So before I do a balance on an airplane or anything, I always hook everything up on here and run it to make sure everything's working correctly. I do a, I do a trial balance and uh, make sure it's all working because I don't know anybody that does enough of them that they, they can be proficient. There's no sense wasting time starting up a turbine engine or your helicopter or, your, or any airplane, especially a fuel injected one that's going to be hard to start after it's, after it's hot. So you want to minimize how many times you have to start an airplane when you're doing balancing. So basically that's the stuff. You need a, you'll need a weigh scale so that you can weigh the weights that you're gonna put on. So as you can see, this, uh, this rig that I built, it's just a, like a belt sander. You have to isolate it from the table. It has to be uh, so it can be free moving or it won't work correctly. You have to experiment a bit to try and make sure that it worked correctly. I kind of made it a 12-hour 12, uh, 12 clock system. So this rotates in the same direction as, a, uh, as an airplane. That's an interesting thing. So the clock angle goes counterclockwise on this. So you'll be, when, you're, when you're trying to figure out where to put the weights, 12 o'clock will be at the top and one o'clock will be over here, three o'clock over here, six at the bottom, nine over on the other side. 
So that's something you have to keep in mind when you're working on airplanes and helicopters. It, uh, the, uh, it's always 12 o'clock is where you've got your sensor mounted, the vibration sensor. That's where your clock angle starts all the time. And uh, on this Vibrex 2000 Plus, it does a, a whole bunch of calculating. I don't like it that much. I use the uh, manual mode 99% of the time because it changes it. it uh, I'll, I'll explain that when I, when I do. I'll do a little video of running it with uh, the two different ways that it does it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll post another video on... Uh, on how use how I use my tester